Isham, tell me, why did you come to the, to the fair here from Morocco, from Marrakech? So this is our first participation this year uh, to, to a fair and we wanted to bring a, a point of view from Morocco on the Middle East and we created a show that uh, named uh, a Commitment of a Promise because uh, the Middle East was a promise for, for most of us and we wanted to come and, uh, with art from Morocco that's talking about the region. Yeah, but in terms of uh, business? So we are happy for, in terms of business. We sold artworks here to people of, from, of Dubai and Abu Dhabi. <laughs> but also we have a strong collector of Morocco that follow us here. Ah, so you mean they came? No, but we sent them the catalog in advance and they choose artworks that they bought. But uh, is there a kind of dream about Dubai being the center of the art business in Middle East? I don't think for us Dubai will be the center of the, the business because I guess Morocco is its own center. But uh, it's important to create bridges between the artists of Morocco and the region. And also to show how we can see through their eyes the evolution of their society. How? Here there, there are all the conflicts concerning modernity. Uh, conflicts concerning the, work, the, the workers, concern, concerning immigrants, like also in our country, and to, to see how Thank we you. face both of us this situation. And so you brought this artist speaking about the nomadic world? Using uh, Mohammed al Jdad is speaking uh, of a lot of things, but using the materials of the nomadic world that is in his in extension in Morocco, but also in most of the country of the Arab world. So he's inventing a new language and we are happy to show this language. And you think people can understand this language here? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people understand the, the, the language. We had also people from Russia that love this language because it's talking a lot of situation and uh, with simple material and sim very- But traditional. But traditional. And this is always the question in Morocco, how to create a modernity without turning the back to our history. Merci.